Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to Noonday Prayer from St John's. My name is Ren and I'm joined by my wife, Phil. The words will be streamed on screen so that you can more easily follow and join in this Eastertide service of praise, thanksgiving and intercession. Today we remember Magnus of Orkney. At the end of the 11th century, the earldom of Orkney was divided between cousins, Hakon Paulson and Magnus Erlingson. One a warlike Viking chief, the other a man of peace. They ruled jointly but uneasily for some years. But eventually Hakon claimed sole sovereignty. A council was called for Easter 1116. But Hakon arrived with a large force and refused to allow Magnus the option of flight or exile. Magnus faced his death heroically and with faith. The shrine for his remains, Kirkwall Cathedral, was erected only 20 years after his murder. He remains an example of a Christian leader who remained true to his faith even when faced with death. During Eastertide, we commence our midday prayers by praying with words from the canticle Pasha Nostrum, Christ our Passover. Alleluia! Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray with words from Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes it boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look at him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. Glory, Glory be, be to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who transformed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt as your ransom 
Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honoured, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Splendour and honour and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, he worship and praise dominion and splendour, for ever and for evermore. A reading from 2 Corinthians. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. But just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with Scripture, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we speak because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all ages. We can hail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name, for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. 
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, may we, by your grace, surrounded with so great a cloud of witnesses and encouraged by the example of your servant Magnus of Orkney, run with perseverance the race you set before us, until at last, through your mercy, we attain with him to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the author and perfecter of our faith who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. On Fridays we focus our prayers on healing of bodies, souls and minds, on healing of society and creation, and on healing of our relationships with God and one another. Let us pray. God, our healer, whose mercy is like a refining fire, by the loving kindness of Jesus, heal us and those for whom we pray. That being renewed by you, we may witness your wholeness to our broken world through Jesus Christ in the power of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice terror, disease and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these our neighbours. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bountiful God, you call us to labour with you in tending the earth. Where we lack love, open our hearts to the world. Where we waste, give us discipline to conserve. Where we neglect, awake our minds and wills to insight and care. May we, with all your creatures, honour and serve you in all things. For you live and reign with Christ Jesus, Redeemer of all, and with your Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Uniting our voices into one, we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. The, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. 
Amen. Amen.